the standardization activity that was taken up by International Telecommunication Union for telecommunications to bring about the next generation networks revolution. So we must appreciate the vision of ITUT and then we also would look at how the service providers need to gear up to embrace the NGN revolution. The ITUT 2004 document titled General Overview of NGN, it provides a mechanism how NGN can be established. In the first release, voice over IP is addressed and in the second release, the IP television is addressed. Now we'd quickly go over and enumerate all the aspects of NGNs that ITUT thinks are relevant to the realization of NGNs. The first one is that every data type, every service must be provided through a packet. Then there should be a provision to isolate the control functions. We can also call it the control plane between the bearer, which is providing the service, the call and session management, and the application and service part. It means now the call establishment has to be executed through a coordinated effort between the end hosts and the intermediate devices. The services that are provided by NGN must be decoupled from the transport layer or the transport stratum specifically which carries such traffic. And then open interfaces should be defined for these services to be provided on any transport platform. The services and applications which are provided on NGNs should be modular in nature so that if you want to make a mix and match for real-time, non-real-time services, for instance multimedia, you are able to do so. Such flexibility is one of the most dominating goals and aspects of the NGNs. NGNs rely heavily on the provisioning of broadband internet access. It means the broadband capabilities should be provided when some, with some kind of quality of service gradation and it should also be visible and transparent to the end user. The backward compatibility for NGNs is a, pre, is a requirement because the telecommunication companies which are going to provide NGNs also need their existing infrastructure and services to be available. There's a need for mobility to be provided in the form of either local mobility within a campus, city mobility or international mobility, what we call as roaming. So another important aspect that is for ITU NGNs. Then each user should be at liberty to choose the internet service provider of its own liking. Multiple identifications for different services should be translatable onto an IP address and vice versa. The services which are used by the use, uh, user should have unique attributes and characteristics so that it is distinguishable to the user from other services. These services which are either provided on fixed broadband or mobile broadband should be converged. That is, the user should see these and use these services in an agnostic manner. The service related functions should be made independent of the underlying technologies because if you make them hard bound together, then the system goes inflexible. So naturally, it is a very important requirement. And from the sender end, the first mile or the last mile on the receiver end should be allowed to be changeable so that if the user has access to a certain technology, the user should still be able to avail these NGN services. And lastly, all these aspects which are related to governance, for instance, emergency communication, 
the security and privacy laws of that particular state should also be ensured that they are implemented in the NGN architecture. Now, where do the telecommunication companies come in? The telecom operators are the lifeline of the services which have long been provided in the form of voice, video, data, audio, etc. These ISPs make huge investments either on the access side, the core, or in the transit networks as well. So it means that any NGN migration and realization has to take into consideration the overall cost benefit that these telcos are going to make. And the responsibility on the telcos would be to get their infrastructure standardized so that these are ready to embrace engine revolution. Of course, once there is a standardization, then the designing of these telcos to cater for certain services and subsequently the management, ongoing management, would be an ongoing process.